So the Infinity War trailer came out, and Hawkeye wasn't the only thing missing. All the other Marvel TV show characters were, too. Is this news? Hi, Tony. Hey, John. How you doing? Hey, pretty good. Welcome to our very first episode of Is This News? On this show, we talk about kind of weekly media news, but, you know, maybe just a, just a little off skew, like things that are in the news, but maybe people aren't talking about it, right? Kind of. That's what today is. And everyone's a buzz with, with the our, everyone's favorite Marvel Archer out of it. But I was I was thinking the other day, I'm just like, okay, at this point, we understand that the MCU is the MCU, and, and then the Netflix characters, and then the ABC characters, and now there's even a, the Freeform characters with Cloak and Dagger, but they're all part of the same universe, and at this point, it seems a little distracting that we're not getting them all into one place. So, is it just me, or, or is this kind of bugging you too? It's definitely bugging me, but I can understand why they're not doing it, I guess, from from a from a certain standpoint, and that's only because Kevin Feige uh, doesn't run the television series. The television series have a different overall showrunner. Uh, so I can understand why they wanted to kind of keep them separate enough, uh, but just kind of be on the edge of the universe together so they can reference things and Easter eggs things. Back when Civil War happened, or, or not Civil War, but back when Winter Soldier happened, there was a definite impact on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, because S.H.I.E.L.D. collapsed within, you know, the Winter Soldier film. Uh, Hydra was very present. So it definitely had an influence on the television series uh, like Daredevil. You know, they mentioned the 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 event, as they refer to it, uh, being, you know, Loki and all of the uh, Shatari, uh, right? Shatari? Yeah. Uh, coming down within the first Avengers film. So things are referenced within it. But all I want is I want that Easter egg of the television series. I just want big whatever Thanos ship in the sky. Everybody's looking up. What's this? You get a camera pan of like a New York street and you see Luke Cage and you see, you know, uh, what's her name? Jessica Jones. <laughs> and, uh, so that one that's, what, that's what I want to see. I want it to be like, boom. And then, you know, you just have different reactions all over the world. And maybe you have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., whatever. You have like those characters, like just different reactions all looking up to the sky. I, I think that would be cool, but I don't think we'll get it. But I think that would be cool. And it just feels like it's a one-way door at, at this point because it feels like, you're, you're right, like the Netflix and the ABC shows are always referencing and always showing like little little clips of, of everything that's happening in the MCU, but it doesn't seem like it goes both ways at all. And at this point, we're getting into such a major event in Infinity War and the upcoming Infinity War 2, whatever it's going to be titled. With all these characters, like uh, the Punisher is a huge part of it. The, you know, Daredevil is, is in it. All these other characters are in it. And we have actors, you know, movie star actors, movie star quality caliber actors playing these roles. John Bernthal is in every other movie right now. You know, Charlie Cox is in movies. Um, Christine, Re or what's her name? Christine Ritter. We, we not only not know the name Christine of the Ritter. character of Justin, Jessica Jones, <laughs> but neither her actress name. Uh, Christine Ritter. <laughs> Christine Ritter. Yes, thank you. Um, but all these other characters and, you know, um, Agent Coulson used to be a big part of the Avengers movies, you know, in Thor and all that. And I know, you know, it, it explained why he's not in there now. But we pass enough time to kind of integrate these things back in, especially characters like Ghost Rider, for shit's sake. I mean, this Ghost Rider is a huge part um, of, of all this storyline. And it just seems a little bit bizarre at this point that, that they're completely omitted. Here's what I have to say about that, though, and I just something that just popped into my head, and it, it makes a little, it makes this make sense, at least in my mind, because I'm a comic book reader, and when comic books do the major events like Infinity War or uh, Secret Wars and things like that, you have an overarching main title s series of like, you know, here's your Secret Wars, and this is the characters we've decided to include within this story, and this is their journey throughout a whatever twelve issue, you know, storyline, but then you have the side issues that come out. So say uh, for Civil War, for example, when Civil War happened, you would have issues like Captain America Civil War. You would have issues like Spider-Man Civil War or, or you know, just random whatever character Civil War. So it's just random, like uh, during Secret Wars, you had Old Man Logan Secret Wars. So you had this overarching title with uh with dr strange and fantastic four and all your big players going through this major event 
But then what's old man Logan doing in Secret Wars? So here's his title and what's happening with him. I think that from a movie standpoint, I understand being a fan and wanting to see all your, your favorite characters from a television series like pop up, at least cameo, whatever, in this movie. But all I ask for, honestly, is that this event is so big that we see it on the TV series. So the next series of Daredevil it, you know, would be a great if it took place within the Infinity War. Like what was happening on the Earth, this is him dealing with it. Like that would be cool, even though I don't think that's what we're gonna get either. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. And I understand that the the story and the or the movies rather are so bloated with with characters, anyways. At this at this moment in time, but I would be I would be happy if they just said, "Here, John, here's your pacifier. Here's a five second you know blip of." Jessica Jones looking up and seeing Thanos' ship. Um, and, and that would I think that would be enough to at least kind of say, okay, people, you are watching the same storyline throughout because, you know, conversely, with the Netflix, the Netflix um, storyline has its own plot line, right? It, and, and that has, you know, I guess now it's kind of called the Defenders plot line because that has like a through storyline that connects all those characters together. And it seems like they're going a little, they're shifting a little bit away uh, from from that storyline connecting to the main one, but in the MCU films, it seems like the world's going to end in in every single movie. You know that that's how high the stakes are for the movies, unless you're making Ant Man. But the rest of the movies, it always has this like, oh, we better do, we better solve this MacGuffin that's affecting the entire world. And it just seems like we would see a, a Daredevil kind of lend his, lend his uh, you know his expertise of the area, at least in New York, it's happening in the same city as these other ones. You know, if we're letting a 15 year old Peter Parker run up and, and jump, you know, and hang out with, with Thanos, then we should let, uh, you know, a Punisher try to take a, a sniper shot. I fully agree. I think that would be, I th and, I, and I understand where you're coming from, I guess, from a, from a fan perspective, because it's the same way that I feel about the Star Wars canon, like uh, the books and the comics and everything, because they introduce all these new characters and all this amazing stuff. And then in the movies, they, they act like it doesn't exist. Uh, like uh, in The Last Jedi, for example, uh, Holdo and Leia know each other from like a very long time. They have a big childhood history together. Uh, and that wasn't represented at all in the film. And you're like, why even give us this backstory about how these characters know each other if there's not even a slight nod to the fact that they do? Uh, so, you know, what's the point? And when the actress herself didn't even know that they knew each other, like in interviews, they're like, did you did you know that your characters knew each other growing up? And she's like, I had no idea. Like, <laughs> if you're not even going to tell your actors their own backstories for their characters, why are we why are we writing all these canon? And that's how I feel the Netflix series to a, to a degree. So what do you guys think? We're going to pose the question to you. Is this news? Are you kind of perturbed by, by the complete omission? And is it distracting at this point that these characters are just not in these movies at all? Uh, or do you think that the movies are bloated enough and there is no more room for any more characters and you like the Netflix you know, storyline as it is and the ABC storyline as it is? Either way, you could come talk to me in the comment section below or you could hop on and talk to Tony on Rad Entertainment on YouTube.com. So we'll see you guys next week on is this news